just uh, this is I'm gonna want to talk about postgraduate education. Uh, I think, well, a lot of the people I know, I don't know about most people because I'm not normal. Uh, Y'all know that I'm kind of a misfit. I'm okay with that, and uh, most people I know are involved in some sort of education, postgraduate education. Uh, I'm here in Pennsylvania, across the street from the hospital, so you may hear the screaming of sirens. That's my sister's dog responding to the uh, siren going off. I don't know if he likes it or if he's just singing along with it. I, I don't know. I asked him, but he won't answer me. But uh, when I went to chiropractic college, I thought, well, I'll get my doctorate, and then I'll be able to kick back and uh, know everything and uh, just treat my patients with what I know. And it was shortly after that I started doing seminars, both postgraduate and human potential work. I would do a lot in the field of kinesiology, as you know, probably spend, I don't know, tens of thousands of dollars anyway, uh, in postgraduate education. And then I stumbled upon the work that I currently do. And I personally think it is the most significant postgraduate education you can do. I think it's really, really a relevant life skill. If you can see how to, now that is so cool how the sun's coming in there. Um, <clears throat> If one, you can learn how to uh, respond as opposed to react and see how to move in your life the way you want to move as opposed to how you've been taught to move. Uh, the, the learning method that I do, I, I did a preview in Windsor, uh, Ontario, Canada, my hometown, after my high school reunion. And what I said to some of the people there is, I live in a different dimension and it looks wacky and it looks crazy and it looks insane and that's how the mind responds to most things new and different it, it will go and say oh my god that's so crazy I don't want to go near that because fear is the last vestige of the mind and now the mind I use as the antiquated operating system okay it's not the Buddhist concept of the mind of purifying your mind it's, it's this antiquated kill or be killed machine that runs you that little voice inside your head that keeps you from getting everything you want and what we show you is, real clearly, the different areas of the mind and where you are in the world of mind. And, and then once you can see that, my, son, my friend Raph said, what Mick did for me, he showed me one a world that I really didn't know existed, which is the world of the mind, the shadow world, the antiquated operating system. He said, but then he handed me a set of keys to move around in there. And he said it was so refreshing. Because as my book says, noticing fixes more than fixing. In the world of the mind, all you have to do is notice, right? And it dissipates, and then you can move back out in higher states of awareness. Uh, again, Richard said the most relevant thing I can do is learn to articulate what I do. He's looking in to see how to assist me in articulating this so that you get kind of the gist of what I want. But uh, as far as life, I think it's one of the most uh, beneficial educational programs you can run on. Uh, if you can look and see how to shift things like this.